about Keelcraft Works of Russell Gardens, Wickford, Essex, England. Edward Keel founded the E. Keel Company Limited after World War II. They originally made reproduction furniture. He worked on the de Havilland Mosquito production line during World War II. It was his son, another Edward, who everyone called Eddie, who got the idea of producing balsa wood model kits after a visit to America. Edward Kill no doubt would have been able to participate in this, but sadly he died in 1949. Eddie continued the business and started making balsa kits, which were marketed under the Kill Craft brand name and soon became a success in the early post-war years. In 1954, in need of more space, the company moved from Hackney Road in London to Russell Gardens in Wickford, not far from the family home in Canby. The company's kits of rubber band and small diesel motor-powered model aircraft and boats became very popular with boys during the 1950s. The boxes they came in apparently had Made in Wickford, Essex printed on them, advertising the town far and wide. The 1950s saw considerable success for Kilcraft, and it's quite possible that at some point nearly every boy in England had tried to build one. Aero modeling was a major hobby in those days, and the kits sold in the tens of thousands through local model shops. In fact, Eddie was a member of the Model Aircraft Traders Association and the Wickford Chamber of Trade. Also in the 1950s, Kilcraft extended its production line into model boats under the Easy Built banner. Eventually, the company moved to Lansing in Sussex. Unfortunately, Eddie Keel died as a result of a traffic accident on the A127 in 1968. However, it appears that the Keelcraft brand remained in operation throughout the 1980s and possibly even into the early 90s. They expanded into toys such as gliders and styrene kits as well. I'm not sure if they ever cut their own molds or outsourced the production of their styrene kits, but their quality appears to be more or less on par, if not slightly below that of Airfix. Some sources claim they had styrene kits out in the 50s, but it seems more likely it would have been the 60s, but I can't verify that. They never made much penetration into the plastic scale model market, but they were a major player in the balsa wood kit market. Although the company is gone, quite a few of their kits are available on eBay today. Rare for the times, there is actually a factory tour film of the company available on the internet and I will go ahead and make it the outro of this video. Eddie Keel and many of his employees can be seen as well as the factory building and production processes. But I warn you, if you're one of those people who's big in the occupational health and safety, some of the techniques here and facilities are going to make you cringe. Hey, it was a different time. Well guys, I know this one's very brief, but that's really all I have on Keelcraft. Take care of yourselves, and as always, model on.